Hello, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. In this section, we're going to continue practicing simplifying fractions. And I'm spending a little more time on it because it is absolutely critically uh, essential material, essential skill for you to master. We're going to be doing it constantly all the time. So in the last section, we introduced the concept. We drew a lot of pictures to show you and to prove to you that it works. Now we're just going to work, you know, we're going to work through a few more problems to just give you a little more practice with that. And so, let's just kind of go through it rapid fire here. Five fifteenths. How do we simplify? First of all, is this a simplified fraction? It's not, because I can look at it and see I can divide the top and the bottom by something to make this simpler. So in this case, I know I can divide the top by 5, and I can also divide the bottom by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 15 divided by 5 is 3. So 1 third would be the final answer there. You know, and if we were to draw both of these pictures, we would see that they're both equivalent. What about 6 tenths? 6 tenths. Uh, are these guys equivalent? And so let's go ahead and rewrite this, uh, or I should say, is this simplified? It's not simplified because I know I can divide by 2 right away and, and divide both of them by 2, and that's going to make it simpler. So let's go ahead and do 6 divided by 10, uh, or 6 tenths, and we'll divide the top by 2, and we'll divide the bottom by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I have 3 fifths, and that's the final answer on that one. Let's switch colors here a little bit just to break it up. What if I have 2 24ths? And I want to look and see, is this simplified? It's not simplified because I know I can divide top and bottom by 2 for sure. So I can say 2 24ths, and I can divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 24 divided by 2, if you think about it, is actually 12 because 12 times 2 is 24. So the answer I get is 1 12th. Is 1 12th. Let me go on to the clean board over here and we'll just work a couple of additional just to make sure you understand. What if I have 16 24ths? Is this simplified or not? And the answer is it's not simplified because I can tell right away I can divide the top and bottom by at least the number 2 and make it simpler. So let's try to do that. 16 24ths. Let's divide the top and the bottom by 2, like this. And what am I going to get? 16 divided by 2 is going to give me 8. 24 divided by 2 is going to give me 12. So I think I'm done, but then I, I always have to go and check. Is this fully simplified still? I look at 8 twelfths and I can tell right away I can divide again by 2. So I'm scratching my head a little bit, but then I realize, okay, well, let me just go ahead and do that again. So let me start over here, or underneath a little bit, and say, all right, we'll do 8 twelfths. And let's divide the top again by 2 and the bottom again by 2, and let's see what I end up with. Because I know I can simplify it again by doing this. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And again, I think I'm done, but then I look at this again and I say, wait a minute, 4 sixth. I can divide by 2 again okay, and still make this even simpler. So let's do that. Let's do 4 divided by 6, or 4 sixths. And what I want to try to do is divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. And 